Hello everyone, welcome back. We've been walking for about three and a half hours and I'm up on the tops now and the rain's kicked in. It's a real cold rain, like an icy rain. So not sure when the snow's gonna start. I hope it's soon. I gotta get set up. Pretty close to my campsite. So to make my way through these tussocks into the trees up here. And I'll get the tarp put up and get my whole base established. But it was a pretty good walk in. Felt pretty strong, felt pretty fit, so that's nice. And the rain held off for most of the way, so that's good too. But into the trees they go, I'll get set up and come back to you on the big camera. Well, hello everybody. I've got the tent all set up now. It was pretty fiddly set up, but got a real nice flat spot. And the tarp's good. The rain's coming down pretty heavy. Um, yeah, I've got to get all my stuff into the tent and then I've got to get base all established, keep the chair out, build the table. Uh, probably get changed into some dry clothes too. Have something to eat, get firewood, all that stuff. But yeah, sounds like heavy rain starting just in time. 
I'm really excited about this. This is my new quip, my UGQ Bandit custom made deluxe ultimate luxury quip. Negative 18 degrees Celsius comfort rating. 950 fuel power down. And guess what color it's in. I know in the comments there's gonna be people who are like, why would you get a quilt that's white when you go camping in the bush, in the mud? Well, YOLO. Look at this thing. A white quilt and it's bright banana yellow interior. It's gonna be so cozy and warm looking in here. But this thing, this thing lofts up insane, like 10 centimeters of loft. I can't wait to sleep in it tonight. I'll give my full thoughts on it. I'll probably rant on it about for ages, but get it in there, get it lofting up. This looks like luxury. I've got myself set up pretty good now. I've got my little travel bird table made up. I've got my chair made. I've just got enough room underneath the tarp so I can sit out here in the dry. You can probably see I'm wearing this new big down jacket. This is the one that I wore on my car camp. It's fully waterproof with 200 grams of 750 fill power hydrophobic treated down in it. So it's quite warm. I also brought my ice ball jacket too, which I might put on if I get cold later when it starts snowing. But what I'm going to do now is go down to the stream, get a bunch of water, get a cup of tea on, have some biscuits, have some food, and then I've got to start thinking about the firewood gathering mission. But I absolutely love this setup with the tent facing long ways amongst the trees and the little tarp shelter over me. It's a beautiful spot here. I think it's about 1,200 meters above sea level, but yeah, it's just great. It's like in this old ancient forest. But it's getting real cold now. All this cloud's coming in. I can just feel so much cold air coming through. So I better get on with my jobs and get some wood sorted out and get some tea. So yeah, thanks for coming everyone. This is pretty awesome. Once again, I'm expanding my biscuit knowledge with some Chinese shortbreads and a nice cup of tea. But yeah, shortbreads, they're pretty delicious.
All right, give it up a bunch of wood. Again, the wood quality is terrible. It's all rotten, damp, horrible wood. So I'm just gonna have to smash in a bunch of fire starters and hope for the best again. When these things get going, they're generally pretty good. All right, so we'll get that burning. That wasn't very good. It's not on the core. Chuck a bit more in just in case. And hopefully, that's enough to dry out the sticks. And it'll actually burn. Fire's going all right. I mean, I think it should get hot enough and be able to get going and stay going. So, I guess that's a success. It's putting out some pretty nice heat. Pretty good, really. It's very cold out here. It's not snowing, I don't think, but it's just freezing rain. This new jacket's doing a really good job. And I've got my alpine pants with merino skins underneath. So I'm super warm, no worries about being cold. Rain's coming down pretty nice and yeah, just chilling out in the spots pretty good. Hopefully I don't have to stress out too much about this fire and it can just sort itself out and I can put on some of the fatter logs. I don't want a huge fire tonight, just a little one. But it seems to be going pretty good now, so that's good. But I might, I don't know, I might have another cup of tea and start getting my dinner stuff ready. But it's real nice this band out here. It's relaxing. everybody I think I'm gonna do dinner now the rain's coming down pretty nice and pretty steady and the fire's going but I mean by no means is this a good fire but for dinner what I've got it's something different I've been thinking about doing this for a while and it should turn out quite nice I'm gonna do fajitas in my frying pan I'm gonna mix in the um, the Radix Mexican rice on the corn tortillas. Which, so here I've got six big corn tortillas, the rice, I've got refried beans with chipotle sauce, and I've got sour cream, cheese, and I've got a salsa. So when I get those cooking in the pan, I think what I'll do is I'll like soften off the tortilla put the rice and put the beans and put the cheese in, kind of fold it over and fry it. Let's see how that goes there. Eh? Should be pretty nice though. So I've got to sort out my table. There's stuff all over it. I'm a bit unorganized on this camp to be honest. It's been rushing. It's, I spent ages trying to get the wood. I didn't really film it because the bush here is too dense. So that kind of sucked. Whoa, the rain's coming down pretty heavy now. There's a bit of wind too coming in at me, which is not ideal. It's blowing the smoke. We're gonna get this rice on first and get that cooking away. And then I'll come back to you when the rice is done and I'm building up the fajitas. Alright, 
Alright, so what I've got to do for this is get my little fry pan. I'm not an expert at doing this type of thing. In fact, it's the first time I've ever tried to build a heater. What am I looking for? Alright, so yeah, I got these authentic corn tortillas. There's six of them. I'm probably going to eat them all and have some for breakfast tomorrow as well. But I think you just, oh, the smoke is unbearable. I think you just place these in, put a bit of water in there, heat them, they soften up. And I can just put my ingredients on. But I've got this. I'll show you these two things. They look pretty nice. I haven't had them before. So that's refried beans with some chipotle. I've got this salsa. So these should be pretty delicious. I'm going to open the refried beans. Whoa, man. That smells good. Oh, there's chipotle peppers in there. Oh yeah, this is going to be deluxe. Oh wait, smoke, I've also got some Tabasco. This is zingy green Tabasco. Green pepper sauce. Oh, the fire. It's giving me a hard time. So I think the instructions say put a tiny bit of water in to soften it. And then slowly heat it. And I'll just put everything else in there. But I hope this isn't a disaster. We'll see though. Right. Just need to soften this. It's already ripping. Because my pan's a bit small. It's... Oh no. Oh well. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll just get that in there. It looks quite funny. Oh, it sure is, it's all ripping. I'm gonna put cheese in the middle. This is just cheese grated up at home. Let's get heaps of that in there. Probably got way too much, but. Flavor up the insides. I think I'll put the salsa on top. Some of that in there. And I think I just fold it. All right, this probably should be done. The cheese is all melting. It smells real good. I'll put this onto my plate and just see. situation is the bottom's probably pretty crisped up. Yeah the bottom oh I just fold it here. Bit of a monstrosity. But it's all good. Oh the smoke's going right across the camera. Put sour cream on it. And some of the salsa on there. The salsa should be delicious. I'll give you guys a close up. It looks a little bit messy, but I think you can imagine that this is a pretty legit kiss of deer, especially when you consider where I am and what I'm doing. The smoke is just Nightmare. I'm on fire. Tastiest day. It smells delicious. I'm 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice and zingy with the salsa and the Tabasco. Nice spicy refried beans. Mexican rice. It's a pretty nice meal. That's really good. Melted cheese, salsa, the beans. Mm. The fire's kind of going, but better now. It's still smoking me out. My nose is running from the smoke, and my eyes hurt. But the food is divine. This might be better than burgers, I don't know. Wow, that was dinner. I ate four of those quesadillas. <laughs> I'm not sure how many calories that is, but I think it's quite a lot. I feel pretty full. But it's not the same kind of fullness as you'd get from eating burgers. Because there was no meat in that meal. Which was actually very nice for a change, as I said before. But I've just been sitting out here for the last hour or so, just watching the fire, relaxing. It's actually going okay. It's like smoking. The smoke's going right across the camera now. You probably can't even see me. But it's putting out a bit of heat. But it's very cold. I still don't think it's snowing. But it must be a little bit higher up. I can feel the cold starting to come through this jacket. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice night. Just some nice, good rain falling down and delicious food. It's another successful camp. I do have a treat though, which I'm going to have. The luxury hot chocolate. I'm going to heat some milk over my little stove and then stir this like special hot chocolate in to the milk. It's got some chili in it and like some rich cocoa, I think a little few spices. So instead of having a jar of dark, I'm gonna be having that. Might be my new thing. My relationship with jar of dark might be coming to an end. But I'll get that on soon. And then I'm probably gonna get into bed. I'll really I'm looking forward to getting into my quilt. The big juicy quilt. That thing's a mess. But I'll come back to you when I get the hot chocolate on. And I'll review this. It's pretty nice out here. Alright, I'm going to do this hot chocolate. And I think what I'm going to have to do is just heat milk in my mug. So I'll gently heat that milk in there. And I've got 20 grams of this cocoa powder stuff. Which I have to stir in and infuse. But I don't know if this is going to work too good. <laughs> the little mug will make do. I was recommended this hot chocolate by Kane. So if you're watching, thank you for the recommendation. I had one at home before I came out and it was quite delicious. I might start incorporating them into my daily rituals because it's, ra it's rather pleasant. Whew. 
Whoa. That's strong. It's quite spicy. I think there's chili powder in this. I really like it though. I like intense flavour. I'm not sure many people would enjoy this though. It's like a spicy, not too sweet, very rich chocolatey drink. Gonna get into bed now. It's getting pretty late. And it's pretty cold. And I've had all my treats, so I wanna test out this new quilt. So I'm gonna go and lie down. And probably get way overheated because there's so much down on it. But it's gonna be nice anyway. Last camp when I was down at the stream, I was kinda of cold. And it's gonna be a lot colder tonight and I'm a lot higher up, so maybe it'll be good. Right, so I'm inside the tent. As you can probably hear, the rain's starting to come down pretty heavy. Um, but look at this, my whole big jacket and my pants fit easy into this massive gear loft up here. That's awesome. I love this tent because there's so much storage. But I suppose I have to get into this quilt. Um, I mean, look at this thing. It's like a giant ball of luxury. <laughs> oh, this is insane. Oh, it's like a giant cloud. I spun myself around inside the tent. I think my feet were above my head the other way, so that would have been a bad sleep. So rotated myself around, now yeah, it feels pretty good. The rain's just coming down pretty steady and this quilt, it feels, it's so lofty and lightweight with the 950 fill power down. But it feels like there's nothing on me. It's incredible, but it's so hot. Like, I can't wrap it up around my shoulders, it's just too warm. I'm not sure what the temperature is now, but it's not freezing at the moment. With a bit of wind chill it might be, but yeah. I think I'm going to go to sleep now though, I'll just relax and listen to this rain. But it's been a great night and thanks everyone for coming along, I hope you've enjoyed the video up until now. It's been pretty nice camp. But tomorrow morning I've got some leftover wraps which I'm going to put bacon and eggs into. So that should be pretty, pretty tasty. And then I'll just chill. I think it's going to be raining a lot in the morning, maybe there'll be snow. Maybe the front's coming a bit late, and overnight the snow will come. So it'll be nice to wake up to snow. But yeah, just be cruisy tomorrow. Coffees, relax, raconas, some bacon and eggs. Then pack up and head home. And that's my final camp as a single man. But yeah, I'm going to go off to sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm tired. Good night, everyone. Good morning everybody, it's about 6.30, just woke up to this Kia that I can hear, probably hear that, that's a parrot flying around. Um, I checked outside, there's no snow, at least not down here by the tent, which is kind of a shame, but it's very cold. This quilt though is something else, it's, it's luxurious man, like, it's everything that I ever wanted it to be, I love this quilt. I've never been so toasty, warm and comfortable. My neck is a little bit sore. The Cedar Summit pillow, this thing. It's not as good as the Nemo one. It's, it's light and it packs down tiny. 
and it's got pretty good thickness. I've got quite a wide shoulder, so it's quite good for that, but it's just not as comfy as my Nemo fellow pillow, but oh well, I had a pretty good sleep anyway, but I only need a coffee on now and just lie back in the quilt. I've just checked outside and there's a full moon, it's pretty awesome. There's no snow down around here, at least not by the tent, which is kind of a shame. There might be some out by the tussocks, but we'll get up soon and have a look. But first we'll get a coffee on. The sleep was pretty amazing. This quilt, you can probably see this. This thing is just immense. It's like a wall of down. I was completely encapsulated in the highest quality down that money can buy. It was amazing. So warm and cozy and lightweight and spacious in the quilt. Couldn't be more happy with it. I'm gonna get my little burner just make a brew but it's quite nice actually having my head at this end of the tent because I can make coffee while lying in bed I can just put put the kettle on right here while I'm inside the quilt use my pillow to prop myself up and just look out the tent door it's quite cool but anyway I'll get started with this coffee Just got up and had a look out. There's no snow, but it's an incredible morning out there. There's some stars in the sky. And there's a big full moon. It just looks amazing. I can see it coming through the trees. I'm freezing cold, I've got to get back into my quilt. I have this coffee. Mm. And I'll get up in like half an hour or so. Don't think I'll be lighting a fire this morning though. Can't be bothered with smoke in my eyes. This is my quilt. My sleep set up like this. Fully enclosed in a wall of down instantly. Oh, it's so nice in here. 950 loft is the best loft. I only want 950 fill power down from now on. It's another level of luxury. It's like all my dreams have come true. 950 down. <sighs> I'm up and out of the tent and it's pretty chilly. There's not really any rain, a few spits, but there's quite a cold breeze coming through. The clouds have cleared up a bit and you can see over on the tops over there it's a few hundred meters higher than where i am there's some snow but it didn't make it down to where i am so i suppose it's a little bit sad but it is what it is <clears throat> i'm gonna get on a big cup of tea now before i do breakfast and just chill i'm just warm enough in this jacket so it should be right. I do have my other one, but I'm not going to put it on. I'll just use this one. I put my gloves on. I remembered to bring them this time. These ones are waterproof with a fleece lining. I don't know if there's much insulation in them, but they're pretty warm. They're good though, because you can still you can still do things when you're wearing them. Versus like a real massive glove. 
it's going to restrict your movement. But it's pretty cold. There's a breeze coming through. It's like an icy cold breeze. So it's nice to have this big down jacket. Have the hood on too. <laughs> it's real warm. There's so much insulation in the hood. It's crazy. But it's a nice crisp morning. It's nice to wake up to no rain. A little dusting of snow would have been good, but yeah. I'm going to do my breakfast now. What I'm going to do is cook up the bacon and eggs in the little fry pan. And then just wrap it up in some of the corn tortillas that I have left over from last night's dinner. Should be pretty nice. I've got some Tabasco sauce to put on it too. And then I'll just do a simple wrap. Little Mexican themed wrap for breakfast. But it should be pretty good. Just been chilling out here with my cup of tea, relaxing, watching the wicker. But fantastic morning, great sleep. The quilt was awesome. Really enjoyed having that and using it for the first time. It's just nice to be warm and spacious and light and lofty. Oh, it's quite luxurious, but yep. I'll start with breakfast and then I suppose it's heading home after that, but it's been a great camp and I really enjoyed it. This didn't really turn out as planned, but it'll still be nice. I gotta practice with these corn tortillas. They're quite difficult to get right. This is what I'm eating. It's a bit of a mess. Well everyone, thanks for coming on this camp. I'm gonna finish eating this, pack up and head out. But I really appreciate you guys all being here and watching and your thumbs up and subscribing and support. It means a lot, you know, a lot of effort goes into these videos. So it's nice to see some appreciation back. But that's probably all for me today. I'll um, see you in the next video. Probably a car camp with Victoria and we'll be married at that point. So that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, thanks everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.